Hello guys, this is Abhijit and today I am going to show you how you can deploy the Node.js app in Heroku. So first uh, I will show you uh, how I have built the app. So here you can see the app.js file. So it is running on port 8181 and I am using XOS to build this app and I have used the environment variables to store the MongoDB URL and I am using the localhost MongoDB. So now um, here you can see it is running. Now uh, I will show you a quick demo how this app is working. So if you send the uh, request, it will show you some result. So now f uh, I'll close close this thing and uh, I will use the MongoDB Atlas server instead of the localhost. So first I will search for MongoDB. So you can search for it. So now I I'll go to the MongoDB.com and now I will uh, sign up because I don't have an account here. So I will sign up. And then I need to go to the sign up, and then I will provide my email address, and then first name. Uh, you can type your first name here, and then I will type the last name, and then you can choose a password. And and now I you now you need to provide the phone number. So I will provide my phone number, and now you have to enter the company name you can choose whatever you want so i will choose the demo company name and now i will choose the student here and now i will choose my country so you can choose it from here now i'll accept this thing and now i'll sign up so uh, after doing this you have received an uh, email to activate the account so i will replace this thing you can see i have received an email now you need to verify this email so click on the verify email now it will take some time to verify this thing so you have to wait so i will wait for some time it just take couple of seconds uh, you can see it is uh, done now i will choose a goal you can choose learn mongodb oh. now i will choose what type of application i will do i will choose other and do this learn you can choose whatever you want now i will choose the language as a javascript because i am using node.js now i'll choose the free tile mm. now here you don't need to change anything now create the cluster and then fill the captcha so i'll fill the captcha here and yep. you don't need to you can skip this thing you don't need to provide anything here so i'll skip this and then i'll choose a username and password because because i need this thing to connect the mongodb atlas server so i have entered the username and password and here, here you can choose a public ip address i will choose a public ip address here so i'll add the entry and then you can choose you can also add the your current ip address but i will remove this thing and then finish and then you need to go to the database and now it will take some time to create the cluster now i will go to the database access here you can see i have created this user to access the database i have given read and write permission and here you can see the public ip address i have added public ip address because doing this you can access the database from anywhere so now i'll connect this thing because it is done now you can choose connect with your application and now i'll copy this url so now i will change the environment variable url here so you will paste this thing and you need to provide the password what we have created when we created the user so i will type the password here and then i will remove this thing and then i will write the name of the database so i will write the to do db now i'll restart the server and as you can see it will take some time but it will connect as you can see it is connected now i will close this thing and i will uh, check if this application is working or not so you can see there is no td to do because i have uh, moved the database from atlas server so i'll create the and 
to do and here you can see the now it is working perfectly so now uh, i will go to the browser and go to the uh, and now you can see the collections uh, what we have added in the database so you can click on the browse collection it will take some time so uh, uh, meanwhile i will go to the uh, heroku to create an account so you will go to the heroku.com and click on the login and it will take some time so i will so i'll go back to the uh, database and here you can see the to do db and to do's collection and it is loading and here you can see what i have added it is working perfectly so uh, i will show you uh, how you can create the account so you can go to the sign up and then provide first name last name and then email address and then company name and then role and uh, you can choose student and then country and then you can choose the language whatever you want and i will fill the captcha and create account so i have already created account so i will not create this thing so here you can see i will log in so it will take some time and here you can see an app already created because i have already created an, an app with this account so i and one thing you need to download heroku cli so go to search heroku cli and in the first link um, go down and then if you are on mac you can run this command to install the heroku cli or if you are in ubuntu you can run this command i am in windows so i will download the 64 bit installer so i have already downloaded this i will open this thing so here you don't need to change anything just click on next and then install and it will take some take some time to install so i'll close this thing and i will go back to the vs code and i will fast forward this thing to now you can right click and reveal in folder so i will uh, open the cmd here so i have opened the cmd here uh, in the root directory of the app so i will type heroku and then version to check if heroku is installed or not here you can see the heroku is installed now i will clear the screen now you will see heroku login to login into your account so type the heroku login and then press enter and type uh, heroku login to login into the account so i have login and press enter and then you have to wait some time so now it is opening in the browser and click on the login and then you need to provide the uh, email address and then provide the password i provided so i'll log in now it is login L logged in now i'll close this tab and go back to the cmd now you can see the app heroku is logged in into this account so i'll clear the screen now I will uh, now you need to download one thing git bash if you already install you don't need to download this so i will go to the git bash and then download for windows i have already downloaded this so i don't need to do anything so now you can you type git in it to initialize the git repository now i will do uh, git add to uh, add those files into this terminal before that i need to ins i need to add the git ignore file because unless it will add the node modules folder also so i will go to the node.js git ignore search for the node.js git ignore and then i will go to the first link and then i will copy this whole code so uh, from line number one so i will copy the whole code copy this thing and go back to the vs code and add dot uh, git ignore file in the root directory so i will paste this thing and save this thing now i will add this thing into the uh, staging area so i'll write git add and then dot so now you can see the you can see all the files are added into the git staging area so i'll commit this thing so you can write git commit dash m and then the give commit message so i'll write initial commit you can type whatever message you want now it is committed now i'll check one more time if it is committed or not so you can type git log and here you can see the com it is committed now we'll create this screen now we'll create a heroku app so you can click type heroku create and then the app name so
so i'll type you can type whatever name you want so i will type widget dash to do and then dash app i'll type enter and it is creating the heroku app now the app is created so now i'll uh, git push you need to type git push heroku and then master to push that thing into the heroku uh, now it is pushing the local files into the heroku server now in to wait some time as you can see it is uh yeah it is completed so now i will uh, go back to the heroku dashboard so i'll type dashboard.heroku.com and i have already logged in so it is not asking for me to log in again so here you can see object to the app is added so now we need to click that in the app and go to the settings and in the reveal config bar you need to click here now you need to add the environment variables here so i will type the database environment key here and then the value of the mongo and the mongodb atlas server url i need to here here so i'll add this thing now it is added the database now we need to restart the heroku app so i will go back to the cmd and clear the screen and now i will type heroku restart command so i will type heroku restart and then enter and then and now you can see it is restarting the heroku app so it is restarted and now i will check the heroku app url so you need to type heroku info and then enter so you can it will take some time to generate uh, to log the information of, of this app so you need to uh, here you can see the app uh, web url is here so i'll go click copy this thing and go to this this link and then to do to see the to do's in the db here you can see it is not done because i need to add the api slash to do's now here you can see it is add, uh, working perfectly so by this way you can uh, create a heroku app and deploy the node.js app into the hero thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video